Hi, my name is Diana Lopez. I am the president-elect of the Hispanic Bar Association of Orange County. Despite the riots that occurred after the death of Manuel Angel Diaz, and despite what the community wants, in, in the sense of being uh, represented and taken into account in, in the city council and in matters uh, what, what happens in their community, there, this is j yet another example of that alienation of the Latino community and basically that the city council doesn't care. Uh, perhaps another riot would uh, get their attention. Apparently that doesn't work in the city. So uh, that's all I have to say. Thank you. And I can tell you that she was consistent in rendering fair and objective advice to the city council and allowing the city council to make policy decisions that are not made by the city attorney. It is very sad that the council majority has forced this city attorney out. For 17 years with this city, and I can vouch that she is a servant of the people that have served this city very well and very faithfully. Jose Vargas, chair of the Orange County Young Democrats, and time and time again I've uh, come to this council majority to talk about progress, and this is a sad time uh, that has hindered progress. But ladies and gentlemen, here we are again, uh, wondering as to what is the council doing and how it's doing it. We wish that we could, could convince her to withdraw her resignation. Norma Garcia Guillen, I'm the past president of the Hispanic Bar Association of Orange County. This decision is an attack on the legal profession, on women, and more importantly, on the Latino community in Anaheim. So I urge, urge the council majority to reinstate her, to reconsider your position. I honestly believe that what we're seeing today is a throwback and very reminiscent of the 1980s when then, when then mayor sent uniformed officers to intimidate and keep Latinos from exercising their vote at the ballot box. And I urge the council majority to just draw the map in accordance with the Voting Rights Act. Thank you. Unfortunately, she didn't seem to tell them what they wanted to hear. Exactly. And for that reason, she's not in this building anymore giving them that good advice. If they keep hiring yes men, they're going to spend all of that money giving it away, $158 million at a time. All right. time for the people of Anaheim to be aware of what's going on in this building. Let's see what we can do about changing their minds about what they think good government is all about. So, hang in there, Christine.